Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead. Today I have something a little different for you. I have a really inexpensive kids craft that would be great for fall. So the first step is to head to a dollar store and pick up just some cheap coffee filters and some food dye. And you're going to water down the food dye and I would say it's probably like a, a five drops of food dye to 20 drops of water is what I'm, I'm leaning toward. You can play around with that a little bit. Less water is going to get you more bright, vibrant colors a little bit. More water is going to get you more subdued colors and it's going to depend on what you want. Um, send your kids out into the yard or take them to the park and have them pick up some leaves of different shapes. And sizes. They can be any size or shape. I went with larger ones because of what we're going to use them for afterward. But we had like some um, red bud. There's some maple. This is a sycamore. This was a magnolia tr tree and these were all in our yard. Um, but you could do, like I said, any size. Um, if you can go little bitty leaves or big leaves, just any size. And then you're going to trace those onto some paper. And then use that as a template. And I was able to hold um, like four or five coffee filters together at once and um, cut these out. Uh, so you can cut out multiples all at once. Okay. Then with your watered down uh, food dye, you just have the kids touch. And you see it spreads. And they can do all of these different fall colors. You could also do this with hearts and do like pink, purple, and red. And do more of a Valentine's Day thing. But it just spreads. And it spreads out quite nicely. And the colors blend beautifully. We do did use some green as well. Um, I don't like it as much. I like the, the ones that are... Um, the more fall colored leaves, but um, you let it spread and they can put as much or as little on. If they get too much, it's not that big of a deal. And then we've been laying them down and here's some of the finished ones, laying them down on just this big sheet of paper. Newspaper would work fine. I don't think it would probably have any issue with like the ink from the newspaper coming off. Wax paper would work, parchment paper, anything along those lines. Um, but you get these beautiful blends of colors. This one we like speckled, like flicked uh, the green on when it was done. So you just get little flecks of that. And they're just turning out so cute. And each one of my kids is getting to do a few. And then when we are done every year, starting November 1st, we um, do a what we call a thankful tree. And it's just where we do... Um, Every day, everybody writes down something that they're thankful for. Just reminds us to be grateful, how blessed we are. And um, we, in the past, have done um, things like a paper chain. And everybody puts a chain on every day. And we write down something that we're thankful for. Make this big, long paper chain out of construction paper that runs through the house. Or um, we have done... I've made a big using this paper here, and I just got this at a thrift store forever ago. Um, we've done that, and I drew just a giant paper tree on it with, like, permanent marker. And then we each got little leaves, like, little leaves, and um, we would each write one thing on it, and then we would put those on and just tape them onto the tree. So by the end of the month, the whole tree was just covered. And we do it from November 1st until Thanksgiving Day, or you could do it through the rest of the, the month. But um, I just wanted to do something a little different this year. This is my favorite so far. I just think it's so pretty. Um, I just wanted to do something a little different this year. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna write the things that we're thankful for. And I think we're gonna go kind of like around the outside edge. And then we're gonna tape these on a window that gets sunshine in the morning. And it will shine through, and I'll try to remember to put a picture at the end of this, um, because we did this, I did this with my oldest two probably eight years ago. Um, but it the, the light will shine through, and it just looks like stained glass, and they're so pretty. So a really inexpensive, I mean, especially if you already have the coffee filters and the, the food dye on hand, 
but at, at most you're going to spend three, four dollars if you go to the Dollar Tree and get these supplies. Um, and if you don't have paint brushes, trying to think of what else might work for that, you could even use like a dropper and just do drops of the ink um, or the food dye, you know, that kind of thing. Or that you could use your fingers, you just have dyed fingers, but um, I just thought they turned out so cool looking. This one, I love the way that that is bleeding in like that. Um, so yeah, just an, an inexpensive way of making a fun craft, let them dry completely, tape them up in your window. And then, um, you could do like we're doing, well, we're just going to tape them up one a day and do the thankful thing. Um, or you can just do it as a fun craft. So I thought I would share that. So yeah, if you do this, let me know and let me know how it turns out. So, all right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye and God bless.